Good afternoon, or evening, or morning, actually. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Rosario Network video for Xbox achievements and PlayStation Trophies.org. I'm Dan Webb. I'm joined by Don Pepiat. Hey, guys. Uh, we've got like 24 minutes of Titanfall 2 footage. You went out recently to Los Angeles to play it. Uh, I to did. To get a look before everybody else. I took a look at the multiplayer tech test, which definitely isn't a beta. We need to make that very clear. Yeah. Apparently. It's, it's, it's not like, a beta. Yeah, what's the difference? Yeah, right. Uh, this is a stress test, I think, on the servers. is what they're running over the next few weeks, if you're watching this video when it first comes out. But um, yeah, so this is everything we got to play. This is the full build. So before we uh, talk about the game itself, um, you're about to die. I remember this one from the last. <laughs> just get into it. Um, it's two weekends, right? Yep. It's uh, this August, which is so it's this August, not next August, as opposed to anything. Yeah, right. This weekend. It's this weekend in August, and then the final weekend of August as well. So, so what dates are those, Dom? Do you that know the dates? The, I do know these. That is the fifteenth. Nope. The 19th to the 21st, and the 26th to the 28th. Okay, okay. And each time we'll introduce new things. So the, the first first time, the first time we get to play the test, we get to play on uh, one map with both Titans. Uh, and the second time you get another map and another game mode as well, I do believe. Okay, so uh, across the, the two weekends, there's three maps, three modes, two Titans. Yeah, right? that's right. And this is Bounty Hunter on Boomtown. There you go. I'm glad you remembered it because <laughs> I, I didn't remember it. So yeah, the map design um, from the, uh, the it feels different from the first Titanfall because it feels a lot more kind of like uh, vertically uh, focused. So you see you up here, I'm on the roof and stuff. I know you could do that on the first one, but this time it seems a much more. They've introduced a grappling hook, right? Yeah. So it feels that everything is trying to get you to go up, and then you can get like you can get the bead on the Titans like here. I'm just wrecking havoc on them without being spotted, really, because some. Well, you well, spoke, spoke too spotted. soon, right? <laughs> spoke too soon. But uh, I could I could do quite a lot of damage from up there because it was just a nice place to be. Um, get amped weapons as well, which is like a power up version of your different weapons. So I'm trying to take a Titan down with a sniper for some reason at this point. Still quite new to it. Well, yeah, but if you hit the the weak spots, because this is actually your first game, isn't it? Um, when I was out there, yeah, playing it. Yeah. Uh, didn't do too bad though. I was getting a few kills in here and there. So I played this. Um, I played this at E3, I do believe. Um, the objective of this mode is the bounties, they're worth points, right? Yeah, that's right. And they, But they're AI. They're uh, big titans, are they? Yeah, so there's two ways of doing this. Uh, when you first drop into a new a new, a new bounty becomes available, be like a dropship, and then loads of AI will flood out of it. The more you kill, the more bounty you get. But you can also get bounties for killing other players or taking down other titans. And if you kill an enemy titan or an enemy pilot, you will get whatever bounty they have as well. Oh, okay. So it's like kind of dog tags. Um, you'll get it, and if you, you've then got to run back to your base, deposit it into your safe. Oh, okay. Uh, and then you will get the points for that. Otherwise, it's a very slow scoring. You, you get a few, a few pennies for kills, but not a lot. So, 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 does it work? The longer you stay out, the more points you get as well. Yeah, you can accrue at one point. I'm not sure if it's no, I die there. Look, see, I lose half my bounty because I, I got killed. Okay. But if you're out there for like, you know, it just makes more sense to get as much as you can from the off. Yeah. Uh, so at one point, I think in this video, uh, I, or in the gameplay at least, I got about $1,000. And you can see that $1,000 on the top up there is quite a lot. It's like a yeah, third right? of the score. Yeah. So you can do quite a lot of damage that way. It, it encourages you to be mobile. That's what this game really wants you to do. It wants you to get out there, jump around, and get anywhere, zip around as fast as you can. Get your points, get back, kind yeah, of thing, deposit it. them, always keep moving. But that kind of also opens up the, the, the gameplay for kind of a sniper class, which is what I'm playing in this video. Because it lets you pick off people with big bounties. And then you can stick back near your vault and then go and deposit stuff. Yeah, it's a quite open map, right? right. Yeah, the maps are they're open, but they're also kind of like there are trenches down there. Pilots can be a real pain in the arse if you're a Titan. They definitely feel a lot more powerful. You know, back in Titanfall 1, I think? Oh, I always thought they were quite powerful in Titanfall 1. I used to always spend my time as a pilot, even when I had a Titan. I put my Titan on auto. Oh, really? Yeah, and then kind of use it as a distraction and then run around. Actually, that's a pretty good tactic. I do like that. In this one as well, the grappling hook actually makes the pilots much more manoeuvrable because you can say a Titan's, you know, I'm battling this guy. Someone can come up behind me, rappel onto me, and just put a grenade in my tank. Yeah. It doesn't kill me outright, but it does a big chunk of damage. So, um, what class are we using here? This is... Well, actually, first things first, what Titan was that? And you get out of it just as we're about <laughs> to talk about it. <laughs> that Titan, I believe, is uh, Ion, which is the, the electric, electric one. Okay, yeah, because yeah, we saw your attacks. So, yeah, a lot of stuff there. He's um, much more kind of focused on energy blasts and he's kind of like he's, he's more of a traditional titan from the first game ish yeah scorch that guy there 
he's much more of a zone denier kind of guy. His stuff is focused on trying to get you to lock down the map. You can really make places hard to go for pilots by setting fire to them and putting gas down and then igniting the gas. Okay, so, so like for hard in, point, that'd be quite good, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, when I was out there, some of the guys from Respawn told me they think of the, the Titans themselves as like Street Fighter characters. Okay. That each one's got its own like ultimate ability and it's got its strengths and weaknesses in certain matchups. So I quite like that as an analogy. Yeah. And you need to deposit me. your cash, Dom. I didn't, <coughs> I've not done it yet, have I, in this no. match? It's, so I was learning, I'm learning. So where'd good. you deposit it? There are banks. I, I'm pretty sure I'll get to one relatively soon. Um, there are banks and little, like, they look like little... Uh, cuboid things you go and stand by and you you don't do it all in one it sort of drains out of okay you. so you can't just run in and drop it somebody can chase you down and make sure you don't deposit it kind of thing yeah exactly but you're gonna lose fucking hell Man, you had like seven hundred to start I was doing pretty well at the beginning i think this is before i actually realized what exactly was going on i was playing like deathmatch yeah so this is like what about six minutes into the, the match um because we're only allowed to have 10 minutes of cons no consecutive yeah more than 10 minutes consecutive video um, so yeah, we we did eight eight eight. Nice. The yeah, the sniper is satisfying. I was saying uh, earlier on that it's it's got like a Coriolis effect on it, so it's, it is quite hard to aim. If you notice, the reticule is a little bit lower than so you, you shot where your shot ends up. Yeah, you hit them. But it's um it's good. It feels really weighty. After you sort of get the crew, this is called the Kruger. After you uh, get the Kruger like sort of up to scratch. You'll start being able to use something called a twin shot, which is like a binary is that a sniper. Titan? And you find that. That's like a that's one of the bounty bots. So okay. that guy is like a, is somewhere between a pilot and a mech. He's a bit more, he's, he's a robot, sort of more well-rounded. Takes a bit more firepower to get down. Yeah. A heavy weapons guy, you shouldn't be sniping. But I got him anyway. So. Yeah. Well, you, you're so far away, right? While everyone else is up there and getting in Yeah, so you can just kind of pick him off and do some damage from there. It's interesting. In the first Titanfall, I didn't really think the sniper was a viable play. Not really, I thought. Well, it was there wasn't really a, like, a, a proper sniper. Like, it seems like they've actually built a sniper class for this. Yeah. I think there was a sniper rifle in Titanfall 1. I don't remember it. But if I remember rightly, you had to level up and get a ridiculous level to unlock that get your weapon. your scopes and your fast reloads and yeah. aiming and stuff. Again, the same sort of thing is in, in effect here. The more kills you get with weapons, the more kind of um, marks you'll get at the end of the match. So you're not using your abilities. What are your abilities? This one is, he's called the Front, the Frontiers Rifleman, I think, something like that. And he can, the hollow man. It's like, remember in Halo Reach, oh, okay. where you can project a little... Uh, like holograph of yourself out front. Yeah, it's basically that. It's the exact same thing, which is uh, I found is a sniper's best mate. I've not been using it here because the game mode doesn't really call for it. But in something like pilot versus pilot, you can use it a lot to distract enemies and take them out. What's um, what's the other one? The R one. That the would be my grenade, little energy suppression oh, okay. thing, uh, which is good against. I think it, it knocks out titans like uh, some of their electronic abilities and such. Okay, cool. Uh, and that's me down for the rest of the match because. I we move on now. Ship. So that's that map done. We change classes for the next one. So this is, well, I was thinking about snipers not being so viable, but there we go. It's uh, Right, literally, that's takes good, me that is a good shot. Out. So um, this is hard point. This is hard point. But this it's is amped hard point. Yeah, yeah, that's it. See, same guy. He's, this is how you snipe in this game. you got to be fast. I try and stop to take him out, but you've got to, this game really wants you to keep moving. Otherwise, it feels rhythmic. It feels sludgy. You've just got to keep running about. Um, advice I should tell myself. Yeah. Um, but this guy is the grappler, so he is adept at kind of getting from place to place. You've got your double jump, and if you can double jump into rappel, into a roll, wall run, you actually you get quicker. Okay. You move quicker on walls and things like that, so it's always worth doing. It's, look at me still thinking I'm a sniper. Yeah, right. That'll change. That'll yeah, change. You, get, you get used to this stuff. It's funny with these events, because you go there and sit in a room for a while, and you kind of got to adapt so quick. Yeah, yeah. It's especially like when you doing capture stuff as well it's like you need to be switched on from the trying off. to find a bit so this is a hard point this looks like the bank from the first mode we were in in uh, bounty hunter but these are like standard hard points in games you've got more people on there the objective gets captured a little bit quicker uh and the longer you stay on there the more points you get difference is if you move away from it once it's amped up it will start to decharge so oh, okay you've got to stay on and it for as much as possible it's worth mentioning that it's double points, right? Yeah, once, once it's, it's amped up. And it takes a minute to amp it up, does it? That's right, yeah. So you can take a little while, see so you're all there, charging it up. So it's C is amped, right? Is that That's all right? amped by the enemy, yeah. Yeah. So you can so see their ticker going up two at a time. got two points, they've got one point because they're one point amped. And it's doubling. It's yeah, good. so th it's like almost like a dead heat, right? Yeah, for sure. Well, that makes Unless the third capture point. One super duper important which in a lot of capture the modes it's not really that important i mean like i used to play a lot of destiny and in destiny you'd see a lot of the time people have cycling points 
in this I think it's going to be much more of a standoff over point B I really do yeah um, I guess right that said there is an interesting stuff they're doing with spawns in this game which is if you they sort of cycle spawn points right so they'll actually have people spawning where enemies run to so effectively they've built it so it's available to spawn camp that yeah. they, they kind of encourage that behaviour but it does mean that if you know that your guys are spawning somewhere and they're running to kill them you can intercept them so spawn camping or spawn like kind of rushing doesn't really work very well so it's a, they're, they're, they're enabling it to mitigate it if yeah. that makes sense no it doesn't at all <laughs> and to me that just sounds like the worst bit of game design ever but I can't I'm only speaking just from hearing it it could be, could be so very action, different try it yeah it could be very different in practice see I was playing this with some of the devs as well they were jumping on um, I just deployed a tick there by the way it's like a little AI mine that walks around and will seek out enemies oh okay put it out. that's so it's pretty good, cool again uh, do you pick that up or is that your it's like an ability you can you can earn through points oh is that the, the see left the little the blip on my map yeah so okay. my titan is at full at 100% at 66% there that little orange one yeah. I enabled my tick so that's pretty cool so how does the tick work is the tick like is the one for every class that kind of ability there are different kinds of abilities but the tick is the only one in the, the levels that we got to see okay uh, I think I got another one a l quite a lot later on um, but, but how, how do they get ready then what the ticks yeah you literally just throw it out and they'll start wandering around no but I mean how do you build up a tick or do you start with a tick oh so it's the same way you get a titan so kills oh, okay. will reward okay. you for bonuses time has cooled down as well uh, on this the, the hard point really gets you there pretty quick does the tick take away from your Titan? No, nope, it's just a, it's just it'll just unlock at sixty six, and then you can use it, and it won't get rid of any energy. So your Titan was going backwards, then it was like seventy two and sixty nine. Does the timer not go up unless you're killing? It um, see that because I got the Titan down there as well. You get rewarded for little bits and bobs. I think because I was kind of messing around and not on a checkpoint. Yeah, because it dwindles a little bit. But do you have to kill to get your Titan? Then you can't just wait for it. I don't think you can just wait around. No. Really? Yeah. I think it's like again, you couldn't the first time for Is that just something for the beta or is that their new thing? I think that's a new thing. Is I it think really? It's just stopping people waiting about. It's making people active and play the objective. But what happens if you suck? You're never going to get your time. Right? If, if you play objective, I guess it doesn't matter if you suck or not because you can, you can be at A on the point, getting points or whatever. You don't have to be in the middle of the combat. No, I guess not. But So this is going to favour aggressive... Well, not just aggressive, but the better players, right? Because they're going to get more titans, and the more titans, they're going to get more kills. That would, yeah, I guess that's true. Again, titan play is it's easy once the titans out on the field. It's easy, very easy for you to get your titan points up because one one attack of its shield or one sort of rappel to it, you can you can get ten percent, twenty percent. So it favors pilots going after titans as well. So it's, it, it comes at a loggerheads, I guess. Yeah. So I'm Still, playing a scorcher. I'm not sure about that decision, to be honest. Like, I'm okay at time for, but I imagine there's people out there that just enjoy it because, like, they the can big call thing, in a big fucking robot at the end of the day. And well, the big thing that people liked about this game over, like, Call of Duty was that your average kind of life, they lasted longer. Like, in Call of Duty, you could last, like, for 10 seconds. And you'll go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but in time for, you could last for, like, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then you get your Titan, which extends your life even more. But now, I guess, if you're having to go after points to get your Titan up, then other people who may not be as skilled... This is true. The, the life the life lasting long thing, I hadn't considered that in, in, in as many words. Uh, I didn't find that really in the beta this time. Um, but then again, I was playing quite rushy. Yeah. So my kill death was quite high. Um, I think in a minute I'm going to de develop one of my, ult as they call it, ultras. The flame core. The flame core. I saw your ability where you shot a kind of... The can of, the gas the gas canister is that the one that just like a line of it's a like wall a, of fire kind of thing yeah so with a gas canister it kind of goes thump out of you and then you can ignite it so it's okay again, that's it's, pretty it's cool air effect kind of thing but how, you how did you do that just with you shooting at it yeah so that's just me shooting he's very slow when he shoots so it didn't ignite that time but there you go there anyone okay, there would die cool. but I think oh, we got I like that, that idea a um, couple of things there you see me jumping into the air once it, like like in the last game. You can. Um, oh, I like the, the good grapple there, mate. Good grapple. That's nice. I was trying that quite a few times towards the end, actually, just grappling out of uh, ejects, but I didn't didn't quite get to plan. 
I don't think I managed to capture it because it was right at the oh, end. Oh, shit, that's cool. Did you grapple onto him by but accident? You can then? grapple onto people or in the way of people, time it and melee them out of it. Oh, wow. So at one point, me and the guy both ejected out of the Titan and grappled each other, and I just got the kick in first. Oh, it really? Was like, it was like Mortal Kombat. Did you capture that? No, unfortunately not. Damn that, was, it. that was the very last game we played when all machines were turned off. Oh, shit, man, that sucks. But things like this as well, you can get on Titans and you can just wreck havoc. Like, this guy's got his shields down, so I kill him. Reek. Wreak havoc. Wreak <laughs> havoc, Dom. That's two videos in a row, isn't it, where you've said wreck havoc. And you were picked up in the comments and the site. Oh, what's wreak havoc? It's just like reeking it so bad it smells. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I've really enjoyed... I think the grapple hook changes the pace of this game and makes a lot more things viable. Because it just... It, you've got sort of a lot, a lot of big gaps here. And if I was thinking ahead, it was charged up. I could have... Got in. Actually, no, here we are, because this is now PvP. We're in a different map, in a different game. So you don't get your Titans in this one? Nope, this is PvP. This is but you pilot get v pilot. So ticks are now your, your best weapon, or okay. other abilities that you may unlock later on. But we're, we're seeing a different class here as well, right? Yeah, this is the, I think it's called the Closer, and he's got this special kind of, like, ping uh, radar de deploy jibjobber. Jib jibjobber. Yeah. Uh, think of it a bit like uh, Hanzo in Overwatch. You I know knew can... you were going to say that then. <laughs> I was like, this is basically Hanzo, right? Yeah, basically. He can fire his thing down and he'll pulse out radars for about... Yeah, you look. look about, give it about 10 seconds, probably. Okay. And it'll uh, anyone in the area, it will ping for you. But they all know they've been pinged as well. Uh, okay, because I think it happened to you, Justin. You kind of glowed. It's like a glowing outline. Like, yeah, people know where you're at. Get out. Yeah. Again, it's just another thing that's really, really trying to push you to move it around. You've been detected. Get out of there. Yeah. Um, which is a nice design, and it really does. I think people in this in this kind of situation were still getting used to a lot of the uh, mechanics and stuff. But when the devs start playing, you sort of follow their lead. They were just moving around all the time. They weren't still. Yeah. Even the guys that were sniping, they were taking pot shots, jumping off. Oh, yeah, that's place right. and Yeah, apart from... I used to do that in time for in the first one, but... Uh, I never used to move. I used to stay <laughs> on one roof. Uh, I think it was Angel City, right? And it was the downtown one. It's the first map that ever showed up. And I basically just stayed on the roof the entire <laughs> match, running from one side to the other, just not sniping people, but taking them out. Because the um, assault rifles in this game are really accurate. They've got super range, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. But I guess that's because the maps are so incredibly big. Oh, yeah, for sure, right? So Otherwise, it would just be fucking nightmare. So that's something that you notice in these maps, uh, in the PvP. And that's what I was saying about the spawn points earlier. Because the maps are so big, I think that's why they've designed these choke points. Yeah. So it's kind of trying to keep the action funneling towards you. Well, I spawned here. I've got no idea where anyone is. But to be honest, I'm though, like, going back to the whole spawn thing that we were talking about earlier on. Like, the maps are so big that one person spawn camping on one point out of, like, ten... It's not going to make a big deal. No, right? But it's like, oh, I died that once. But then the rest of their team are going to be outnumbered. That's it. Once. While he's there spawn camping. So it's, um, yeah, definitely kind of, it's all trying to guide you towards the firefights all the time. Like, I just spawned there uh, and got in a firefight without even trying. Oh, shit, man. Oh, I tried nice. To... You got in there, right? I, I think I got one of them. Yeah, you got the one. Whole, the whole crew there. It was alright. It's not a matter. See, I put I popped in my uh, grenade launcher in there, and nothing happened either. I think it I went over. It was clear. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, see. And th th those kind of, because that's that was the same weapon from the first one. Like they're only really effective against titans. That's what they're designed for, really, isn't it? Yeah. It's interesting in this. Then they've got pilot versus pilot because you think in a game called Titanfall, it's about titans falling. Yeah. But this, I enjoyed this. I was. But you still got the ticks to get out as well, right? That's it. When they start coming as well, you'll notice that that's a quite a good. Uh, zone denial kind of I'm here here are my ticks you can yeah. have multiple of them as well oh really yeah so are they big the more you level up uh, they're, they're noticeable you can shoot them down as well to, to continue the overwatch analogies think a bit like um, roadhogs not roadhog like uh, junk rats riptide riptire oh, okay so they're quite big and they're quite mobile so they are shootable but they're a, they're a threat and you need to take the prioritize them because they'll kill you in one shot yeah oh really one shot yeah the, uh, a tick blows up on you you down but then there's the tick blow. Yeah. Okay. That's not good. So it's a life for a life kind of thing. But to you, that's like, you know, it does take a while to get up on here. Because I've not been doing badly either. I've got quite a few kills. And you know, it's only at 69%. So yeah. The cool, the, the, uh... We're up to 94. And now, and now it's going backwards. What's up with that? Oh, is that because if you combo stuff together... You'll get more. So oh, 10%, okay. you get a 10% every time. And you could potential for more and all that. Kind of yeah, I see. That makes sense. There we are. I've got my tick ready. I think I'll just throw it down into the middle. I don't think it does much. But see, I've got a few as well. So How many did you get? I believe it's three. I could be wrong there. Um, oh, that's cool. 
Oh, unlucky. Didn't, unlucky I, I rushed. I should have stood back after I put the, the uh, deployment out. But this is the kind of greatest hits, the abilities kind of. It's, it's like I say, I've, I've made comparisons so far to Halo and Overwatch and all my kind of, the, the shooters that I've really got on with. There are elements of them all in there. Well, Call of Duty as well. Was, oh, well it's Respawn, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean, right? All right. I just blew up a tick on myself there. Your own tick? Uh, no, someone else's tick oh, was okay. on there. I tried to blow it up, but it was already really range. Throw more ticks, mate. Yeah, I know that now. Again, you, so yeah, I you see your abilities more often. You're as bad as when I play with Rich, <laughs> and, he's, and he's like, we're playing Titanform as well on stream, and I'm like, Rich, use your ability. They they recharge <laughs> like every ten seconds. You see, these don't. These are quite slow burning. So the the radar pinger, it go, it, it is relatively slow to come back. So there you go. Look, you're in the sonar because you can't like to them. So they've done well because I they now now I'm running into them. Um, but you not, enjoyed it, though. Right? I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a very uh, strong game so far. Yeah, I played it uh, just before E3, um, and I had a lot of fun with it. The, uh, but I love the original Titanfall. I played it fuck loads. So I prefer what I've played in the multiplayer of this so far to the original. I think it's the first one was so quick and it was so like all over the place, and that's good, sure. But this one is it's just taking that little little bit little bit of time to slow down a little. It feels anyway. It doesn't seem any slower. According to the devs, the gameplay is the exact same speed, but it's just because the maps are a little bit bigger. Okay. And there's a little bit there that makes it seem a little bit more considered and a little bit more kind of, like, thoughtful. It's not just running around blindly trying to kill shit. I'm okay with that. I'm okay, uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. So, um, after... Thing is, actually, I did play quite a few classes. classes. So I played this guy, the closer, the, the guy that can radar ping. I played the uh, hollow sniper dude. I played uh, the medic, and I played... The Grappler. Okay. The Grappler is and by far and away my favourite. Oh, really? And I think it was of most of the people I was playing with. Yeah, there. well, it seems to make you more agile in a game that's all about agility. Yeah, exactly. Which is nothing but a good thing, right? I think once you've got the kind of learning curve down and you've got navigation, like, really kind of on the head, you can probably start using other classes a bit more effectively. So I was using the Medic, and the Medic's ability is a self-heal, which is always oh, is handy. Is that a hologram that you just fired I, at? Yeah, because you saw it kind of dissipate. Yeah. Right? Um... Yeah, when I was playing as a medic, which you don't unlock until about level 5, so quite a way in. Okay. Uh, that also gives you a speed boost. Again, that's no more mobility, but you move. You are snippy. And that in a mode like this, against pilot versus pilot, I think will really make a big yeah. a big deal. And what can you do with the medic as well? Like, revive people? Or? Just yourself. Just a self-heal. Oh, it's, it's a self-heal. Okay. Like, think of it like a, a plasmid from Bioshock, right? Self-heal, okay. speed boost. Now, you really you move at about 1.5 times the speed. Oh, really? really yeah, yeah, you are absolutely rapid. Oh god, it's Tracer all over again. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, it doesn't last that long, but it's a really good... If you're in a pinch or if you know there's a group of enemies coming up, you can do that and probably just lay waste to them. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see too many people playing it, like I say, because that was a little bit further into the beta, so if anyone does get a hold of that, it'll be nice to see. Um, so that little ticks ambling about there. Fucking loads of them. Someone's playing that quite well, because they know they can kind of control the area. I yeah, go right. and kill them. Some ticks and they get down me. and then push... Like, kind of force people to fire at the ticks ahead of you. But notice that anywhere in this map, uh, you go, you're walking around, and there's kind of three layers to it at any one place. So there's always the trenches, there's always the staircases, there's a lot of cover to be had. Yeah. And I think when people really do start to get to know these maps, they're going to really come into their own. Yeah. Um, and there you go, defeated, mate, defeated. Back to the uh, dropship I go. Yeah, and obviously the epilogue's still there from the original Titanfall. It wouldn't be the same game without that, would it? Yeah, closing words, Dom. Like it? I like it a lot. I'm looking forward to seeing how good people are going to get in the two weekends. Okay. Because that's always when shooters really show off what they're made of. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm also going to be playing quite a lot of it, I hope, so I can put what I've learned here into the test. Uh, but yeah, no, I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's, a nice an it's a nice antithesis to the single player, which is a lot more puzzly and a lot more focused on the uh, This is just fucking platforming mayhem. elements. This is absolute chaos. Awesome. But awesome. That's always what you want from a, a shooter, right? So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Folks, thanks very much for joining us. That was time for two. The beta is coming in a couple of days uh, for you guys this weekend and next weekend, the weekend after Gamescom. The weekend after Gamescom and the weekend after after Gamescom. <laughs> um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, we'll be streaming it as well, so don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Thanks very much, folks. Uh, it's been a pleasure, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers, Bye. guys.